Greetings. My name is Judy Didion. I'm the Dean of the School of Nursing, and I'm very excited to welcome you to Oakland University. Thank you for attending our Go for Gold virtual um, open house today, and I know that you'll enjoy hearing from our faculty and staff about our program. Our School of Nursing has um, a great reputation. I have the um, pleasure of visiting the healthcare systems all over the Detroit regional area, and they I just can't say enough about how um, proud I am of our graduates. We have um, so many compliments, and so many of our healthcare um, systems want to hire our new grads. So I know our faculty are doing a great job and our staff is there to support them. So as you go through Gold for Gold today, um, please um, chat with us, ask us questions, let us know what your concerns are. And I just can't wait to meet you in person one day. So enjoy and thank you for attending. Hello and welcome to Oakland University. My name is Jeff Carl, and I'm an admissions advisor with undergraduate admissions. We are excited that you have chosen to attend our Go for the Gold program. As a quick reminder, there is a Q&A chat function on this webinar. You may notice two chat boxes. Please only place your questions in the Q&A box so all of the moderators can see them. If your questions don't get answered right away, we may be saving them for the panel later in the presentation. I would like to start off by telling you a little bit about Oakland's history, academic programs, and campus life in addition to admissions and scholarship information. Oakland University was founded in 1957 thanks to a $2 million donation by Alfred and Matilda Wilson. We are a young university which is exciting because there is constant room for growth. OU is home to over 19,000 students with more than 3,000 of which who live on campus. OU has more than 120,000 alumni worldwide. Nearly 75% of OU alumni live in Michigan. Oakland University has a beautiful campus of 1,443 acres and is home to Meadowbrook Hall, one of Michigan's National Historic Landmarks. Also, all of our academic buildings are centrally located on campus for ease of access. Our campus is surrounded by entertainment venues such as Meadowbrook Amphitheater right here on campus, which has hosted big name artists like Nick Jonas, Steve Aoki, Kendrick Lamar, and Five Seconds of Summer. Oakland is also close to shopping areas with various options like Great Lakes Crossing and downtown Rochester. If you are into recreation, check out the nearby Paint Creek Trail, the Clinton River Trail, and the Stony Creek Metro Park. In addition, there are OU-sponsored events such as movie nights at Imagine and on-campus drive-ins, as well as OU night at Comerica Park. During the fall, Yates Cider Mill is a big destination for delicious cider and fresh donuts. Oakland University proudly boasts one of the lowest crime rates in Oakland County and the number one safest public university in Michigan, and the third nationally, partially due to the many safety features in use around campus. There are over 100 blue lights all across campus which will connect anyone directly to the OUPD dispatch. They also offer text message alerts that will send a notification directly to your phone in the event of an emergency situation on campus. Students and parents are both eligible to receive these and can enroll on OUPD's website. OUPD officers are on campus 24-7, 365 days a year. More than 3,000 students live on campus calling one of our residence halls or apartments home. Hamlin Hall houses first-year students in Oakview, Hall is the newest home to the Honors College. We are excited about the opening of our newest residence hall, Hillcrest Hall, which houses 750 students and has a new cafeteria and a satellite recreation center. We also offer special interest floors, which offers social and academic support. Student involvement plays a large role in the lives of our students. 
OU offers more than 300 student organizations, including academic, social, Greek, political, and spiritual groups. The university regularly plans trips to fun places like New York City, Chicago, or Boston. Our Office for Student Involvement also offers discounted tickets to various events and performances throughout the Metro Detroit area. OU has 18 men's and women's varsity sports. OU competes in the NCAA Division I athletics as a part of the Horizon League. The Golden Grizzlies have brought home 28 regular season titles, 77 conference tournament titles, and have made 55 NCAA tournament appearances. For more information, please visit OUGrizzlies.com. At Oakland, we encourage students to live, study, or work within a different culture through more than 180 study abroad programs in over 40 countries. For example, our students studying a concentration in archaeology can travel to Israel to see historic and religious sites covered in class, participate in an archaeological dig, and conduct groundbreaking research. Oakland offers 140 undergraduate programs and more than 130 graduate and certificate programs. These are divided into several professional schools and one liberal arts and sciences college. Please refer to oakland.edu forward slash academics for more information. Whether you are deciding on a major or still exploring your options, the First Year Advising Center provides academic advising for all first year students, students who are undecided or redeciding their majors past their first year, as well as undecided transfer students. Your assigned advisor will introduce you to helpful resources and tools to assist you in developing a balanced schedule and making informed decisions about your major and your future career. The Honors College offers a unique environment for high-achieving students through smaller class sizes and special topic general education courses and gives graduating seniors the opportunity to complete a thesis in a topic of their choosing. Students with a 3.7 GPA or higher and a test score of a 1200 SAT or 25 ACT are automatically qualified for the Honors College. Those students who have above a 3.3 GPA and a test score of 1000 on the SAT must complete a separate application in addition to an interview for consideration. OU's Presidential Scholar Award recipients are automatically accepted into the Honors College. Of course, all undergraduate majors are welcome to apply to this challenging, unique environment for high-achieving students. This year, we were proud to say that we had a record-breaking entering class of 663 new Honors College students. Faculty at OU School of Nursing trains tomorrow's nurses through the latest healthcare resources and procedures, preparing them to balance high technology and compassionate patient care. Admissions into these programs are competitive, though we do offer an opportunity for direct admissions into the basic BSN track, which I will talk about shortly. The Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine will welcome its 10th class in the fall of 2020. Students receive instruction in basic sciences and research at OU and take part in a clinical training in applied research at Beaumont Health Systems. The school is a member of an elite group, one of just 141 MD granting medical schools in the country. As I mentioned previously, Nursing Direct Admit is one of OU's academically competitive programs. A limited number of entering freshmen will be offered direct admission to the university's School of Nursing basic BSN track. Students interested in attending OU in the fall should apply by November 15th of their senior year to be considered for the Direct Admit Nursing Program. To be considered for OU's Business Honors Direct Admit Program, you must gain admission and complete a supplemental application, although we recommend you have your application in by December 1st of your senior year in high school. As I mentioned earlier, students wishing to study in the Department of Music, Theater, and Dance must gain admission to the university, then apply for an audition with the 
the department. The school is accepting video auditions now through August 17th. You can register for an audition at oakland.edu forward slash smtd and see their audition information on the website. You will be sent virtual audition guidelines and students who are applying for the fall of 2021 can find audition dates online at oakland.edu forward slash smtd. I'd now like to walk you through the process of applying to Oakland University. Applying is easy and the application can be found online at oakland.edu forward slash apply. The application is free and we are currently accepting applications for winter, summer, and fall of 2020 and the fall of 2021 applications will be opening on July 1st. The average incoming freshman has a 3.5 GPA and a score of 1130 on the SAT or a score of a 25 on the ACT. Typically, OU will admit first-year students with a 2.5 cumulative grade point average. For the fall of 2020 and the fall of 2021, we have temporarily shifted to test optional admissions in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. SAT or ACT scores are not required for admissions consideration for the fall of 2020 and 2021. Students are still encouraged to send a test score, if and when they have them, for course placement or additional scholarship consideration. Our average incoming transfer student has a 3.1 GPA. Generally, transfer students with college credit and a 2.5 GPA or higher are admitted. Transfer students must submit all transcripts from every college they have attended. However, transfer students with fewer than 24 college credits must also submit their high school transcript. Scholarship consideration for OU is automatic. There is no separate application for merit scholarships. To receive fall scholarship consideration, we recommend incoming freshman students to apply and have all materials submitted to OU by March 1st of their senior year of high school. While scholarship consideration is based upon your cumulative grade point average and test score at the time of admission, students are welcome to submit updated transcripts and test scores to be reconsidered for scholarships. Transfers should apply by December 1st for winter scholarship consideration or August 1st for fall semester. Transfer scholarship consideration is also based upon the student's cumulative grade point average at the time of admissions. Please see the scholarships and grant information located on our website for more information. Currently, tuition is assessed based upon the class standing, the course, and course level. Differential tuition rates also apply to courses offered by the School of Health Sciences, School of Business Administration, School of Nursing, the School of Engineering and Computer Science, regardless of major. For more specific information and to view the rates by course and course level, please refer to oakland.edu forward slash tuition. University housing offers a variety of living options suited to your individual needs and interests. Housing rates and more information can be found online at oakland.edu forward slash housing. For all newly admitted students planning to attend OU, we encourage that you activate your accounts if you haven't already. Activating your account will allow you to choose your net ID, which will act as your OU email address. Activate your account today at oakland.edu forward slash activate. If you have been offered any merit scholarships, you will also want to go to oakland.edu forward slash scholar accept to accept them. Additionally, all incoming students are encouraged to register for new student orientation. Registration is available online at oakland.edu forward slash orientation to lock in your spot in our incoming class. These events will be held virtually throughout the summer on the dates that you are signing up for. For those students attending OU in the fall of 2020, application for housing is now available. Students may apply at oakland.edu forward slash housing 
forward slash apply. For those students starting OU in the winter of 2021, applications to live on campus will be available beginning November 1st. I would like to also stress the importance of the financial aid process. To be considered for financial aid, students must complete the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. This form is available now and can be completed at fafsa.gov. That is F-A-F-S-A dot gov. Additionally, for those of you who have yet to take the SAT, or for those still planning to retake the SAT and looking to improve their scores for scholarship consideration, we would like to remind you that Khan Academy offers free SAT prep for students. Khan Academy is a great resource if you're looking to continue on working towards improving your test scores and can be found at khanacademy.org. I want to encourage each of you to visit us virtually to learn even more about the application process. At this time, we will move on to the next presentation, and as a reminder, feel free to use the Q&A chat box to submit any questions you have throughout today. Don't forget, we will also have a panel at the end. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Carrie Gilchrist, and I'm a Senior Financial Aid Outreach Advisor with Student Financial Services. I'm happy to be here with you today to share some information about financial aid at Oakland University and answer any questions you might have. Today, I'll talk about costs to consider when attending college, how to apply for financial aid from a variety of sources, and the types of aid you'll be eligible to receive from Oakland University, the state and federal governments, as well as private resources. Please feel free to submit your questions during the presentation and I'll take some time at the end to answer them for you. When attending college, there are many costs to consider. Oakland prides itself on being a fee-free institution, so the only billable charges you'll have are tuition and housing if you choose to live on campus. Even the laundry and the toilet paper and housing are free. You should also expect to have expenses related to your education, but not billed directly by Oakland University, such as books, living off campus or at home, transportation, and living expenses. When Student Financial Services is preparing your financial aid offer, we estimate these billable charges and non-billable expenses, then add them together to determine the cost of attendance. Financial aid is intended to provide you options to pay for your billable charges and help you pay for your non-billable expenses, so the cost of attendance is the maximum amount of financial aid you are offered. In order to pay for college, students can be eligible for financial aid, including scholarships, grants, work study, and loans. In order to apply for financial aid, students should complete the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, also known as the FAFSA. Most financial aid requires the FAFSA, and when we say file early, we mean it. The FAFSA should be completed beginning October 1st or shortly thereafter of the student's senior year of high school. Some financial aid is offered on a first-come, first-served basis, one of the reasons we recommend filing the FAFSA when it becomes available October 1st to apply for the next school year. You can file the FAFSA electronically on fafsa.gov or using the My Student Aid app available for iOS and Android devices. If you have your phone or tablet handy, you can open your camera and point it at the QR code for whichever operating system you use. A banner will open where you can download the app. While there is a paper application for FAFSA, it's recommended you file electronically for a variety of reasons. Filing the FAFSA electronically is much faster to process. It takes just three to five days, and there are a number of security measures taken to ensure your information remains private, such as the data retrieval tool, which allows most users to upload their tax information right from the IRS website. The electronic FAFSA is also shorter and much more relevant to your household because it uses skip logic to eliminate questions that no longer apply to you based on the questions you already answered. If you need help completing the FAFSA, Student Financial Services offers free, private appointments for anyone who needs help completing the application. Oakland University Undergraduate Admissions automatically awards OU merit-based scholarships through the admissions process, so no additional applications are required. Student Financial Services automatically awards our need-based grants when processing the FAFSA. Every student who qualifies for scholarships and grants is guaranteed to receive the award, 
We are not limited to the number of students who can receive the award. Annual departmental scholarships are also available through Oakland University Academic and Student Service Departments for application and selection beginning during the student's first year. Oakland University offers a number of need-based grants available to students who complete the FAFSA and meet certain eligibility criteria. The Golden Grizzlies Tuition Guarantee Grant is offered to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with an expected family contribution of less than $8,000 as determined by FAFSA. The award pays the remaining amount of tuition due after subtracting the amount of the expected family contribution and any other gift aid. This award is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. The OU Golden Grant is awarded up to $5,000 per year and is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. It's awarded to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with a high school GPA of 3.0 and an expected family contribution of less than $8,000. The OU Housing Grant is awarded up to $5,000 per year and is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. It's awarded to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with a high school GPA of 3.0 and an expected family contribution of less than 8,000. Students who receive the housing grant must live on campus with housing charges for a full semester that are not covered by another housing award. Student employment is also available at OU and may be part of a student's financial aid offer if they receive a work-study grant. Work-study and non-work-study positions are available at OU, and the university employs about 1,600 employees each year. Students are paid at least minimum wage, however, some positions pay more. Students are limited to a maximum of 25 hours per week during the fall and winter semesters. Students can work up to 40 hours per week when classes are not in session and during the summer semester. On-campus and local jobs are posted on OU Handshake, a platform that will grow with the student over time. Students can use Handshake to also apply for internships in their later years at OU, as well as professional positions when they graduate. The federal government offers financial aid to students, including grants, work-study, student and parent loans. Some grants are offered on a first-come, first-served basis, like the SEOG and work-study grants, one of the reasons it's important to complete the FAFSA as soon as it's available on October 1st. The federal government also offers student loans awarded to the student in the student's name only. Parents are not co-signers for federal loans. The subsidized loan is interest-free while the student is in school, and the unsubsidized loan accrues interest while the student is in school. Neither loan requires payment until the six months after graduation. However, there is no penalty for early repayment. A Parent PLUS loan may also be offered to parents to borrow in their own name. It's a creditworthy loan, so if you're approved and want to use it, you can. But if you're denied, your student gets an additional amount of an unsubsidized loan in their own name. It's an opportunity to receive additional federal aid without going to a bank or a private lender, which is often more expensive option for a student. The state of Michigan also provides financial aid to students and requires the FAFSA be completed no later than March 1st in the student's senior year. The Michigan Competitive Scholarship is awarded automatically to students who complete the FAFSA and achieve a 1200 or better on the SAT. The other awards offered by the state require an application, which is available through the MISSG student account. Students can create their MISSG student account after they file their first FAFSA. Private scholarships are also available through organizations, foundations, and companies, and students are encouraged to begin applying for those scholarships in the junior year. Students should apply regularly until they graduate from college to increase their chance of receiving a greater number of scholarships. College Board, FastWeb, and GoodCall.com are some of the many scholarship search engines students can use to apply for private scholarships. It's also a great idea to check with the high school counseling office for local scholarships aimed at students in that school or community. Some students may also have personal resources like MET, MESP, or other college savings plans to help them pay for their education expenses. OU is proud to offer payment plans for students who choose to pay all or a portion of their charges on their own. Payment plans are available each semester a student attends to divide payments into four equal installments. Payment plans are interest-free and students can easily pay with a checking or savings account. 
Credit and debit cards are also accepted and students are encouraged to schedule their payments to pay automatically each month. I hope you feel better prepared for the costs associated with college and more familiar with the financial aid available to you. To prepare for paying for college, there are a few things you can do even now. If you'd like to learn more about the financial aid process, please join me for a virtual financial aid presentation. Visit oakland.edu slash financial events for the schedule and link to join. Students and parents can visit studentaid.gov to create an FSA ID necessary to access and complete the FAFSA. Make sure you apply for private scholarships regularly to increase the number of scholarships you will use to pay for your education. Finally, make sure you file the FAFSA beginning October 1st of your senior year and every year thereafter. If you have questions after today, please contact Student Financial Services to speak with an advisor. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and are currently taking phone calls remotely. You can also visit our website at oakland.edu slash financial services, where all the information in this presentation is also available. You're also welcome to email our office at finservices at oakland.edu. Thank you again for attending our virtual Go for the Gold event today. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Carrie Boog, and I am the Associate Dean in the School of Nursing. I am excited to have the opportunity to tell you about our nursing program. Judy Didion is the Dean in the School of Nursing here at OU. She has a public health background and is very accomplished in nursing education. Judy is an awesome Dean. She is very student and faculty centered. She promotes and supports student success and is a leader and advocate for nursing at all levels. We have recently implemented a new curriculum so that our students are well prepared to practice in the current and future healthcare environment. One of the biggest changes we made in the curriculum is that we moved courses around so that students are better prepared for their clinical experiences. And we added some critical content to address current and future issues in healthcare. In addition, we have added simulation into all of our clinical courses so that students are more prepared to take care of patients in the clinical setting. Clinical experiences start in the second semester and throughout the program, students will have the opportunity to take care of patients and families in a variety of settings, including nursing homes, hospitals, and the community. As clinical experiences are held in all of the major healthcare systems across Southeastern Michigan, and in the community setting, students must have their own transportation to get to their clinical experiences. The School of Nursing is fully accredited by CCNE, the Commission on Collegiate Nursing Education. Our last site visit was in 2012, and we received the full 10 years of accreditation. So our next site visit is coming up in 2022 for reaccreditation. You might get to the opportunity to participate in the next site visit. Our undergraduate curriculum is structured to build on nursing theory and to use critical thinking and clinical decision making in the lab and clinical settings. At the end of the program, the students participate in a nursing capstone experience to help them make the transition to the role of the registered nurse. We have a very active Student Nurses Association and Dean Circle. These organizations, along with the National Black Nurses Association and the National Student Nurses Association, provide a number of leadership, volunteer, and personal and professional growth opportunities. A lot of the hands-on learning in the School of Nursing occurs in the Human Health Building, where we have all of our labs. In addition, all of the nursing classes are held in this building, except for the Accelerated Second Degree classes, which are held at the Anton Frankel Center in Mount Clemens. I know that you are not able to tour the building today, 
but there are several spaces available for students to hang out and collaborate together on projects. There is also a Starbucks in the first floor of the building that has limited food and beverage options available for purchase. We have four labs in the School of Nursing. This is a picture of our skills lab. You can see all of the mannequins and some of the equipment available for students to practice the various nursing skills that they are learning. We also have a health assessment lab that is set up in a similar configuration, but looks more like a doctor's office with exam tables instead of the beds that you see here. In addition, we have a community lab which is set up like an apartment for simulating home visits. These pictures show students in action in our phenomenal simulation lab, which includes several high fidelity mannequins, including an adult mannequin, a pediatric mannequin, two baby mannequins, a birthing mom, and a neonatal intensive care unit. The simulation lab is definitely one of the highlights for the nursing students and presents a great learning opportunity for students to practice skills and make clinical decisions in a safe learning environment. In addition, students debrief with their faculty after the simulation experience to discuss what went well and what could have been better. That is where the real learning takes place. This summer, we have also incorporated virtual simulation into our courses to provide simulated learning experiences online. The feedback from these virtual simulations has been very positive so far, and they are proving to provide a great learning experience for our students. We have many experienced faculty in the School of Nursing who are there to support and promote student success. All of the faculty have the qualifications, experience, and expertise to teach the classes they are assigned to teach. We have several programs in the School of Nursing. At the undergraduate level, we have a Bachelor of Science in Nursing that has three tracks, the Basic BSN track, the Accelerated Second Degree track, and the BSN Degree Completion Sequence for Registered Nurses. At the graduate level, we have the following Master's Degree programs, Adult Gerontological Nurse Practitioner in Primary Care, Family Nurse Practitioner, Forensic Nursing, Adult Gerontological Acute Care Nurse Practitioner, and Clinical Nurse Leader. At the doctoral level, we have a Postmaster's Doctor of Nursing Practice and a BSN to DNP in Nurse Anesthesia. We also have a PhD program with three different pathways, starting at the BSN, MSN, or DNP levels. Here is a list of the outcomes in the School of Nursing that we have decided that every student who graduates with their BSN should achieve by the end of the program. These outcomes are guided by the nursing governing bodies, including CCNE, our accrediting agency. As you can see, we have a well-rounded program with a holistic focus so that you are prepared to practice in a variety of settings after you graduate. We do offer direct admission into our basic BSN track directly from high school. The minimum requirements are a high school GPA of 3.5 or higher and at least one year of high school biology and high school chemistry completed prior to the senior year with a final grade of B or better in each course. In addition, an SAT score of 1160 or an ACT score of 24 meet the minimum requirements for direct admission. Please note that SAT and ACT scores are not required for the incoming class of 2020 and 2021 for all students with a high school GPA of 3.0 or higher per OU's test optional policy due to the COVID-19 pandemic. In order to be eligible for direct admission, you must apply as a nursing major to Oakland University before November 1st in the senior year of high school, and you must be accepted to Oakland University. We admit up to 25 students as direct admission students each fall. Please be aware that be meeting the minimum requirements does not guarantee admission to the SON. 
Please also note that all students admitted to the School of Nursing must complete a criminal background check and urine drug screen. These are requirements that students must meet in order to be in the clinical setting taking care of patients. In addition to direct admission, students can be admitted to the School of Nursing after they have started coursework at OU through the competitive admissions process. The first step of this process is to gain admission to Oakland University. The second step is to apply for admission to the School of Nursing after you have completed all of the requirements. We admit into our basic BSN track twice per year in the fall and in the winter. Applications for fall admission are due on or before June 1st, and applications for winter admission are due on or before October 1st. The pre-nursing GPA must be 3.2 or higher to meet the minimum requirements. We admit approximately 71 students in the fall, and that is in addition to the 25 direct admission students, for a total of 96 students. We admit an additional 96 students in the winter. While we have the largest nursing program in the state of Michigan, based on the number of students, we do have to limit enrollment so that we can ensure clinical placements for all of our students. We are exploring moving towards a holistic admissions process, which would include additional requirements submitted with your application, such as an essay. More details about the holistic admissions process will be communicated well in advance of the application deadline so that you will have sufficient notice of these requirements. As previously indicated, the pre-nursing GPA must be 3.2 or higher to be considered for admission to the School of Nursing. The five courses that are used to calculate the pre-nursing GPA are listed here in gold. In addition to the pre-nursing GPA of 3.2 or higher, you must also have a final grade of B or higher in each of these pre-nursing courses. Please note that you will receive a slight increase in your pre-nursing GPA if you take five of the pre-nursing courses at OU. A strong science foundation is necessary to help you be successful in your nursing courses. To apply for the accelerated second degree track, you must have an earned bachelor's degree in a non-nursing related subject area, and you must be admitted into OU as a pre-accelerated second degree nursing student. Step two of the process is to apply for admission to the School of Nursing after you have completed all of the requirements. We admit 64 students three times per year into the ASD track. Applications are due by March 15th for fall admission, August 1st for winter admission, and November 1st for summer admission. As with the basic BSN track, the pre-nursing GPA must be 3.2 or higher to be considered for admission to the ASD track in the School of Nursing. The five courses that are used to calculate the pre-nursing GPA are listed here in gold. In addition to the pre-nursing GPA of 3.2 or higher, you must also have a final grade of B or higher in each of these pre-nursing courses. Once you start the nursing program in the basic BSN track, it takes three years to progress through the curriculum and complete the program as courses run every fall and winter semester. Each semester builds on the previous semester. Year one focuses on nursing as a scientific discipline with an emphasis on the fundamentals of professional nursing practice. In year two, the focus is on nursing care of adults and specialty populations, including older adults, mental health, women, and families. Year three focuses on nursing leadership and nursing care of other specialty populations, including communities, children, and families with the last semester culminating in a capstone precepted experience working one-on-one -on -one with the nurse in a hospital setting. The ASD program takes approximately 16 consecutive months to complete. Students in this track complete the program at an accelerated pace with most of the courses running over seven weeks instead of 14 weeks. 
In addition, all of the courses in this track are offered in the fall, winter, and summer. These courses are the same as the courses in the basic BSN track, but are condensed into seven weeks instead of 14 weeks. The School of Nursing uses ATI for all pre-licensure students. ATI is designed to help you be more successful in your courses and ultimately helps prepare you to pass the NCLEX RN nursing licensure exam. You will receive more information about ATI at nursing orientation. For all registered nurses who have an associate's degree in nursing and would like to earn their BSN, we have a fully online BSN completion sequence. We admit students three times per year into this track. The completion sequence can be completed full-time in 12 consecutive months or part-time in 20 consecutive months and has a flat rate tuition of $9,995 for 32 nursing credits. All of the faculty teaching in this track are well prepared to teach online and deliver a very high quality curriculum. To complete the 32 credits in 12 months, you will take two courses in each seven weeks of the first two semesters and the final capstone course over 14 weeks in the third semester. To complete the 32 credits in 20 months, you will take one course in each seven weeks of the first four semesters and the final capstone course over 14 weeks in the fifth semester. As you can see, we have many clinical and community partners who help support, educate, and train our students. We would not have a successful nursing program without all of their support. We do offer study abroad opportunities in the School of Nursing, including an annual trip to Italy that many students have enjoyed tremendously over the years and have found it to be a very beneficial learning experience. Thank you so much for your time today. I hope that you found this presentation helpful and that it answered many of your questions. Here are additional resources for any other questions you may have. Please feel free to take a picture of this screen. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.